Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to apply a function to every row of a data table with the deep liar package in the R programming language. So in the video I will show you an example and this example relies on the tibble that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data object appears at the top right of our studio. And we can also have a look at this data object by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, our example data is printed. And uh, as you can see, our example data is a tibble, which consists of three columns, x1, x2 and x3, and five rows. Now, if we want to apply the functions of the dplyr package, we also need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package. Now, if we want to apply a function to each row of our data, then we can use the code as you can see in lines 10 to 12 of the code. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to compute the sum of each row of our data. And uh, this can be done by first specifying the name of our data. So in this case, our data was simply called data. Then we have to apply the pipe operator. Then we have to apply the row wise function in order to tell the our programming language that we want to apply our function by row. Then again we need to apply the pipe operator and uh, finally we need to use the mutate function of the deep liar package in combination with the sum function. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console a new table is returned and uh, as you can see this new table consists of four columns instead of three as our original data. So the first three columns are our original columns x1, x2 and x3. And in addition to that, we also have computed a fourth column, which we have called row sums. And this column is consisting of the sums of each row of our data. So in this example, we have applied the sum function to each row of our data. However, we could also use different functions instead of the sum function. Yeah, so this is basically how to apply a function to every row of a data table in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And also in the description of the video you will find the programming code that I have used in the video. If you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.